I'm going to show you a little bit about my laser tool here. This is the brand that I like. I've included a link for it in the notes if you want to get on Amazon and find that. The biggest mistake that people make using the tape measure is that they will type in, like if it's a 46 inch window, sometimes they'll type 47 on accident. So it's really easy to make that mistake. This kind of eliminates that, the laser does. The problem with the laser, the biggest mistake I see on that is people not reducing their fractions correctly. So there's two, you can make a mistake either way. It seems to be this one is a little bit less um, of a problem. So I like to use this one almost exclusively when we can. Sometimes um, on a height measurement that has existing window coverings, we can't get a good spot to point the laser. So we have to use our tape measure or for door application. So always carry both of these into each appointment. Now on this one, we just push the on button. Some of the things to notice about your laser is it'll have a little icon that will show, see how that line goes underneath the laser? That means it's measuring from this point when you do it. And this one records two measurements at a time. The Bosch one that I also linked will record three measurements at a time. So you can do that. Um, this one measures just a little bit quicker. I don't have to wait, give it kind of a pause to read it before it measures. I can just click it immediately and it gets a measurement. What I would do is I would place this up here and you can see, I'm gonna go this way so you can see the laser. See how it makes that red point right there. You just have to make sure it's on the window. And on this one particular, some of them have a button up here that you can push. Um, if you have a little bit better grip, you can push this button. This one's this one right here. So sometimes you have to have two hands and you're just gonna push the red button and it's going to record that measurement. So you can see that this one is 20, this one is 24 and 1 16th. Now I'm going to measure the middle here and I'm gonna measure the bottom. And you're gonna see that it records two measurements at a time. So I already knew the top one and then it has 24 and then 23 and 31 30 seconds. So the bottom is the smallest measurement. So if I'm doing something that's rigid that needs to fit all the way down the edge, I'm going to use that measurement. For roller shades, we'll kind of cover this in a minute. You would just use the top measurement because of the gap along the sides coming down. Then if you were to measure the height, so on this one, I have this window covering in the way here. I can almost get my laser pointer up there, but it's really hard. So in this particular case, if you're in a home that has existing window coverings, you're gonna have to pull out your tape measure to measure the height. Some of the reasons I like this, it makes it a lot easier to measure really big windows. Um, as nice as this one is and as stiff as it is, you know, you get too far and it can kind of bend or you're not as straight. And so this just makes it a little bit easier to do those hard to reach windows are nice. For stairs, I just have to be able to get one hand up there to measure it. Um, so that makes it a little bit easier. Just if you have awkward spaces to get into, sometimes it's a little bit easier with the laser.